Lake Havasu City High School in the northwest Arizona town named for the river lake created by Parker Dam, Lake Havasu City, is having one of the better baseball seasons ever seen in the area. As this video was shot on baseball's senior day in mid-April, the Knights were on their way to a 25-plus win season. The senior ceremony is presented, followed by an interview with the team head coach K, then pre-game outfield infield warm-ups, and finally the first nine hitters of a particular game for Lake Havasu High School. I hope you enjoy it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Lake Havasu High School and John Wade Memorial Field for Senior Night as we honor our seniors and their parents here at Lake Havasu High School. We're going to start off with Ryder Abalera. I would like to first thank my parents, sisters, Jessica and Lexi, my grandparents, the Porter family, and my best friend, Allie Cook, for making it to so many of my games throughout the years. Thank you to my coaches for going, giving me the opportunity to play on this team for the last three years. I would like to thank my teammates and friends for all the memories they give, have given me over the years. Those memories are ones that I will carry with me for the rest of my life. I'm going to miss each of you and especially the swollen fingers from Bobby and Alex. And I want to wish all of you the best of luck in any of your future endeavors. Let's go out there and get it done one last time. My name is Garrett Allen, and I play shortstop. I would like to start off by thanking my parents for being my biggest supporters since I hit my first ball off of a tee 17 years ago. Baseball is my passion, and they have helped me chase my dream of being a college player, and I know they will continue to do anything to help me grow as a player. So, secondly, I would like to thank all of my coaches for the support and guidance they give us on the field. Last year, this season has been the best yet. We've all grown closer since sophomore year, and it is showing this year. It's really fun playing with a group of guys who show up an hour before practice, and I'm happy to call myself a knight. My name's Eddie Arnold, and I would like to thank my wonderful parents and my great girlfriend for standing by my side through all of these years of sports. It's been a long ride, but it's been worth it. I'm glad that I've spent these last years with some of my closest friends. Lastly, I would like to thank all of my coaches for making me the person I am today. Thank you. Hi, my name is Alex Foe. Out of all the three years I've been on varsity, this year has been the best and the most fun team I've ever been on. I couldn't ask for better teammates and coaches. It was great playing with all of my senior friends for all of the four years at this high school. It's going to be nice to move on and play ball at the next level in college. For the rest of my teammates, I hope you can make it to the next level. I wouldn't have made it this far without all of my support from my coaches and family. I would personally like to thank Bob Malacky for showing me so much and influencing my life in baseball. I would also like to thank Chip Stahl for helping me become the player I am today. To Coach Kay and Colin, I would uh, like to thank for influencing and teaching me so much about this game. I want to give a big thanks to my mom for supporting me throughout my years of baseball here and keeping track of the book. I also would like to thank my dad for making it to all my games and supporting me at all of them. Also, I want to thank my brother for helping me be the person I am and helping me throughout my years at this school. I would also like to thank, thank my girlfriend, Ariana, for making it to my games. Thank you for supporting the team. Let's play ball, boys. Howdy. My name is Robert Malacki. I'm being escorted by my mom, Kim, and sisters, Brittany and Ashley. I'd like to start with a special thank you to someone who couldn't be here today. Thank you, Dad, for making me the ball player I am today. I know you would do anything in order to be here today, and I understand that you can. I love and miss you, Dad. I'd also like to thank my mom for making me the person I have become. I know it is hard having to parent three children all by yourself, but you managed to do it with ease. I love you and thank you. Also, I'd like to say goodbye to all the wonderful people I have met and friends that I have made throughout my four years in high school. Finally, I'd like to thank my teammates and coaches, some of the guys I've been playing with my whole life, Alex, Ryder, Matt, Eddie, and Austin, while getting to know Garrett and Riley over these last couple of seasons. You guys are all grinders. I loved every minute of this season. Thank you, everyone, teammates, coaches, family, and fans. Seniors, tonight is our last night on this field. 
Let's bring it to these guys and go home victorious one last time. I am Riley Kuros. First of all, I would like to say that it's an honor to stand on my home field alongside my family, my teammates, my coaches, and everybody else in our Havasu baseball family. This sport, this lifestyle, I hold near and dear to my heart. Playing this game every day is a privilege to me, and I would not want to spend my high school baseball career playing alongside any other teammate or coach than the ones that are on this field. I want to thank my dad, Robert Kuros, who pushed me to be the best I could possibly be at everything I do. My grandparents, Mike and Ida Kiros, for being by my side since the very first day. And I want to thank my coaches all the way through the Havasu baseball program. They have driven me to make sure I bring everything I have out on the field every day I play. Finally, I want to thank my teammates. We have been playing alongside each other since the Little League, and I hope each and every one of you fulfill your dreams. Thank you to everybody. Without you, senior year could not have been any more special. Well, except maybe if I had a couple more at-bats. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I'm Matt Romer, number 10. It's crazy how fast time has gone. I played baseball for all of my life, and tonight is my last home game ever. I'm proud of everything we have done. I want to thank my family for supporting me from the beginning and always being on the sidelines cheering me on. To all the guys going on to the next level, I want to say good luck. It really has been an honor playing with you with you all. Now let's finish the season strong and play some nights baseball. Hi, my name is Austin Wolf. I would like to take this time to thank my parents, Kelly Wolf and Jim Shinjak for always being there to support me at my games. It has been great playing ball with all of these athletes throughout my past four years of high school. Finally, I would like to thank my coaches in all my years of baseball for pushing me and helping me become the player I am today. Ladies and gentlemen, our 2015 Knight Baseball Seniors. Now at this time, we're going to go ahead and continue our warm-ups. We'll be doing our national anthem right before we start to play. So good luck to both teams. Coach, whenever you have an excellent season like you're having, somewhere along the line you began to feel that, yeah, this might be the year. Could you tell me the circumstances under that? Well, probably two years ago when these kids were sophomores. We started six of them as sophomores, took our lumps, and I knew, I knew in two years we were going to have something, and it sure come to be uh, just what we thought. Okay, let's talk about uh, the, the season and how it went and uh, when things began to really gel for you. I know only losing twice during the year, why uh, it may have gelled from the first day, but uh, kind of walk me through the year up to this point. Well, it really started, the, the, the real competition started right off the bat. We got ourselves into a Fountain Hills tournament and played some pretty good Division three schools that were in the state tournament last year. Uh, Scottsdale Christian, Northwest Christian, Fountain Hills themselves, and we won that tournament and saw some pretty good pitching, saw some pretty good players, and uh, so right from the very start we thought we had something, right from the very beginning. Okay, talk about a kid that uh, has been doing an excellent job for you, one or two youngsters, uh, first and last name if you would, go. Well, probably on the mound, especially uh, Bobby Malacki. Uh, is, our, is our top kid that's really emerged as our number one. Um, and he bats third and is probably, not probably, he is one of our, our best hitters. We got four or five kids that are batting close to 400. Um, and uh, so uh, this is a group that hits the ball pretty well. We have Alex Defoe also is one of our top pitchers. And then several younger kids that, that can relieve. So um, those are, our shortstop has been with us for three years, uh, Garrett Allen. Uh, you'll see him later on. He's, he's, he's the real deal also. So, I mean, we're pretty solid at every position. Uh, but you know how baseball is. It's the way the ball bounces sometimes. So we'll see what happens. Let's talk about maybe a youngster who uh, you didn't expect much out of and uh, kind of surprised you. Well, we had a, a move in from Prescott. His name's Tristan Parente. And uh, he'll actually start uh, uh, today. He'll be DH because I'm starting all these seniors. But he's come in. Uh, he pitches, plays second base. I can put him just about anywhere. And he also is a real deal. He's a right-hander that, that bats left-handed. And uh, so that's been a real pleasant surprise. And we've had a couple kids off the JV team. Uh, Josh Crabtree has been hurt. And he's going to start today. Uh, we're 
it's gradually starting to build his uh, pitch count up just a little bit. Um, Dalton Heath has been a, a nice surprise too. He starts for us. And then Kylan Conan off the JV team. Uh, he plays right field, a, a big left-handed uh, thrower and batter. Uh, and he's, uh, he's really helped us too coming off the JV team. Not officially in the playoffs, but let's put yourself in the playoffs. Uh, what are you going to expect to see there? Well, obviously you see the best. You see the, the, the good competition. And right now we had a hiccup at uh, Kofa and ended up losing that game, which we shouldn't have probably. We just had to go down there. And it was just one of those games, like I said, the ball bounced the wrong way <laughs> a couple times. And, but that's baseball. Uh, so we're going to be, right now we're 15, uh, which means that we would have to play, eventually we're going to have to play some of the top teams. Uh, so I like our chances if we get by that first game. Uh, you know, with our, with our, if our pitchers stay consistent, uh, we should be in pretty good shape. He's starting uh, left field. Okay. And then that's uh, Ashton Gallagher. He's our, he's, our starting, he's our starting center fielder. Louis Gonzalez. He's, he's fielding it right now. Well, that's Kylan Conan. He's normally my starting right fielder. That's Alex Defoe, right there. Hey, Bobby Malaki, third base. Dalton Heath. Here, Avalara. And Cody Herring. That was a tribute to the 2015 Lake Havasu City, Arizona High School baseball team presented by MojaveTVNews.com.